In our last video, we talked about creating preferences uh, for the routing so that we were able to avoid interstates. And we also created a new list, which is basically a collection of our waypoints that we've created and our route to Memphis from Dallas-Fort Worth or from Carrollton, Texas. Now what I want to do is I want to look at this info of this route that we've created and you'll notice it's 528 miles, but it's going to take 10 hours and 41 minutes of moving time. Now, their base camp is calculating this based on the speed limit of the highways that you're we've chosen here. So 10 hours and 41 minutes is a pretty long riding day, and they're not even taking into consideration the time it takes to stop for gas, get off the bike, walk around, maybe even go to lunch or sightsee or do anything. So I personally would split this up into two different days of riding. Uh, so maybe around six, seven hours of riding per day. And there's a couple of ways you could do this. You can make this one route that goes over two days. And when you stop at a hotel or wherever, uh, pick up that same route the very next day and go on. Me personally, I like to split this into two separate routes, one for day one and one for day two, but that's just my personal preference. But we'll deal with that later. The first thing I need to do with this route is I need to kind of find a halfway point. Where am I going to stop uh, for the evening and spend the night during this two-day ride? Well, one way to do that is to go to the directions tab up here. And if we expand this window and make it wider, you'll see here that it has every single direction that the GPS is going to give you, when to turn left, when to turn right, which highway ramps to take. And these are going to be directions. Some of these are on the screen. Some of these are going to be spoken directions through the speakers. So I can see here my total distance traveled over here on the right-hand side and the total time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I get to about the halfway point. Well, I know my total trip is 528 miles, so I'm going to look for something maybe in the 250 to 300 range. So here at 236 miles, if I click on that, you'll notice this little shaded circle shows up. That shows me where 236 miles is on the map. Now I can see just kind of looking here, there's a town here. It's kind of hard to see because it's hidden by the route. And there's another one over here called Arkadelphia. Now, I think I could make it to Arkadelphia. So let's look here and see where that is. If I continue on 247 miles, 274 miles, that's about Arkadelphia. And I can easily make 274 miles in one day, no problem. If I go to 290 miles, I'm actually right on top of Arkadelphia. So I'm going to use that point of reference to decide where I'm going to stop for the night, maybe even get a hotel. So let me close this window. I'm going to shrink it back down here. And I want to zoom in on this area because I want to look for a hotel near Arkadelphia. Okay, now I'm going to come back up to my search window and just as an example, I'm going to type in Holiday Inn. And it's going to show me any, well, I have to click all points of interest. So now it's going to show me all of the Holiday Inns in that area. And you'll see the little numbers here. There's one in Arkadelphia. There's one uh, here in Caddo. And I'm just going to go ahead and let's just say we choose that one. You'll notice it's not on our current route. So we're not really, it's not really on the highway or on the way. Arkadelphia, same way. It's still north of town. There really isn't one right on the highway. So I'm going to choose the Arkadelphia Holiday Inn Express, and I'm going to create a waypoint for that. And that's going to put another hotel waypoint in over here on our uh, list. Now it didn't put the correct icon for some reason, so I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose the hotel icon. I believe we have to scroll down here. There it is. It's like a little bed. Okay, so now we have our second waypoint, which is in Arkadelphia. Now the map sometimes will zoom automatically when you do these things. Don't worry about that. You can always zoom out. 
let's add this to our route. If we drag this Holiday Inn Arkadelphia between home and between the Sheraton and Memphis, the base camp will reroute and recalculate our route, including that waypoint. So let's zoom out where we can see what's going on here. Okay, so you can see here it has routed us up Highway 67 to the Holiday Inn Express. And then the next day or morning or whenever we leave, it will route us back down and put us back onto our route. Let's scroll out a little further. So now we have put this Holiday Inn Express Arkadelphia on our route and we've modified the route accordingly. In our next video, we'll add a few more waypoints and we'll split this route into two separate routes, one for each day of riding. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and click on the little subscribe button down below.